Welcome to Strip Club. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And here is your quilt. It is called Simplicity 2. Why is it called Simplicity 2? There was a simplicity one. And you know, funny, I woke up in the middle of the night and I thought, oh, I should get simplicity one and show you what that looked like. And yes. well, they're all out on trunk shows, so I'm <laughs> I don't have the quilt to show you. It has the same sort of feel to it, made completely differently. Um, this one is, uh, is a different technique from simplicity one, uh, but it has the same sort of feel. But I'm going to show you how to put simplicity two together today. One of the reasons I love this new pattern if you have a bundle of strips and you just want to play, this is the pattern for you. Because all it takes is strips and then add your borders when you're done. So if you find, you know, you're shopping and then, you know, touching the fabric as you go along, feeling better, <laughs> letting the day's stresses drip <laughs> off of you as you go through and touch the fabric. And you come upon a strip set and you're like, ah, oh, this is so pretty, all these colors. And look, it's already cut. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. This is what you're going to do with it. It is simplicity too. The pattern or the fabrics you're looking at right here are um, my new line of fabric with timeless treasures called Tonga Spa Day. Does it not scream spa day? Yeah, it does. Don't you want to go get a massage now? Mm -hmm. If I were a really thoughtful strip club presenter, I'd have a masseuse out there for you. But, but that idea only came at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So you start with two and a half inch strips. Imagine that. All right, so here I have different color combination. I have two two and a half inch strips. I'm going to partner these strips together. I have deliberately picked fabrics that have contrast. So this is a full. Wow, I see now why we cut the strip sets down. There's not enough room on my board for a f This is full width of fabric. Stay. Wait, hold on. Pins. <laughs> I'm learning more and more how helpful pins are when sewing. <laughs> and now we're going to use our strip tube ruler. You have two options. We have the main strip tube ruler. We call him Senior. And then we have strip tube Junior. Both of them will work for this. I'm going to show you with Junior. Okay. If you are familiar with us, you'll, you're probably noticing that I'm not putting another strip set together, sewing quarter inch seam on the bottom or the top to make the tube. We're eliminating the tube part. We're just going to cut right out of the strip set. So we'll take the ruler, put it on the edge of the fabric because there's no bottom stitching line. Usually we put it on the bottom stitching line, but there's no bottom stitching line. We're going to put the edge of the ruler or the mark right up against the edge of the strip set and cut up and cut down to cut out a triangle. Triangle might look a little like this. So here, cut up and down, cut out a triangle. Triangle might look a little like that. Actually, if you're cutting it from the strips, it, it looks exactly like that. <laughs> so you will get this color combination. The darker one in this uh, case is on the top, and then the lighter fabric is on the bottom. Now we're going to cut again. If you've been with us, you know that the pattern will tell you to put the ruler on the top. In this case, it's the top edge of the fabric. But we all know the secret, the $10 secret. you got to flip the strip set over. And now you can cut from the bottom again, but it's a different bottom. All right, now we're going to cut up and cut down. You can probably see what's going to happen to the next triangle, right? Same fabrics, different placement. It might look a little like that. Go down the strip set. I will tell you that you probably will need to do a full strip set and you will get eight triangles out of it. So many times we cut our strip sets down to half strip sets, but you will not have enough fabric unless you have, you're lucky enough to have a fabric that is 44 inches to make the halves. So we're going to go ahead and make full strip sets, which you see here. Cut triangles, you'll get eight. You might get nine, but you don't need nine. You get eight triangles out of a strip set. Four will look like this. Four will look like that. Now we're going to rearrange them. We're going to take two like that, two like this. You will need to repress the center seam. The pattern tells you everything. The pattern's very good about the pressing directions. So follow the pattern. And then when we put it together, 
We'll put the two dark points together and the two light points together to make your block. <laughs> Genius, right? Brilliant. Okay, so that's what it looks like together. The pattern will tell you to square up. That's a personal preference. You probably don't have to because everything is so accurate. You do have bias edges all around the uh, sides here. So be careful when you're sewing it together that you don't stretch and stay away from steam. Um, avoid particularly stretchy fabrics. There are some fabrics on the market. Batiks don't tend to stretch as much, so I particularly like the batik fabrics for a pattern like this. Um, but there are sometimes thinner fabrics. They may have a little more stretch. Just be careful you're not stretching those bias edges. Um, I always also add Mary Ellen's Best Press or a starch to give it a little more stability. If you're using a pre-cut bundle, of course, you haven't pre-washed the fabric. That helps too. Please, please don't pre-wash pre-cut two and a half inch strips. <laughs> Can you imagine them in the washing machine? I mean, you would have spaghetti. Very pretty spaghetti, but spaghetti. I, backing up, I said you'll have to repress some seams. Some of the seams you'll have to repress. You'll get little dog ears like this. Just cut those off. Now, I said you'd have to um, square up. Why am I so excited? Because you can use the strip tube ruler to square up. Mm, not that one. You have to use senior. He's not, junior's not big enough. See the ruler? It has horizontal lines, but it also has a center line. Anybody ever use that center line on a strip tube ruler? Can you think of a pattern? I know I, there's one pattern I know that we've written that uses that. But now you can use it to help square up. So you put the um, square up size on the stitching line, and then you line up this vertical seam with the vertical line in the center. If you line those up, and you can trim left and right just a sliver, you have squared up your block. How about that? Is that exciting? <laughs> What's also exciting is you cut off the dog ears on each side. You still have to cut off two of the dog ears on them. No, you'll cut off the top. You'll still have the sides to cut off. You know the other secret about cutting off dog ears when you're using the strip tube roller? <laughs> if you go like this and you put the same measurement on the um, stitching line, you see the dog ears on each side? Just cut, cut. Whatever your first measurement was that you used for the strip tube roller, if you use that same measurement, flip things around, you can cut off your dog ears using the strip tube roller. I find more and more ways to use this strip tube roller. My mom made me do it, you know. <laughs> She's downright genius. All right, there's your block. Put it together. Twist and turn. Yeah. Sew by rows, add your borders. <laughs> All right, wait, no, no, yeah, brilliant, thank you. Okay, the next question, which you guys have been very kind not to ask the last few months, do you have it in another colorway? I do. We thought it'd be fun to do it and yeah, please, will you please come help me? This is Maureen, everybody. Maureen's not dressed like a cow this month. <laughs> please know that she actually was dressed like a cow last month. Go back and watch the video. You were, you were just so cute, by the way. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, ma'am. Nice? Very nice. No borders. No borders. We decided borders would be distracting. We had so much going on. Oh, look. Paparazzi came out for this one, Mom. Everyone's taking the picture. No, you're not done. Up, 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 up. Yeah. It's a different way of seeing things. Okay, well, you probably also noticed, or maybe you didn't. Um, all the seams, the center seams in this quilt, go the same direction. And the quilt behind us, okay, drop, no, come, come towards me. Me, 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 Okay. They go all sort of random directions. There's no rhyme or order to it. 
So if you stare at it quickly, I tell you, very spa day, you are getting sleepy. <laughs> I know, right? I was telling them earlier I want orange infused water to sip while I watch this. Okay. Yeah, last time, last time I had a massage, I had that. Okay, wait, is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, one more time up. One more time up for the paparazzi. But wait. There's more. We had a good time with this one. This is what happens when Daniela writes the pattern earlier, and it's an easy one to put together. Good job. Yeah, thanks. We thought, what would it look like in two colors? It's clear. It's a um, what's the word? What's the word? It's a flimsy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's just a top. It hasn't been quilted yet. Wow. The uh, the pattern simplicity two has seven different sizes. This is the baby size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, all of the seams go in the those center diagonal seams go in the same direction. But wait. <laughs> I know. I'm making up for the last month not having it. Here, you hold it because you match it. So this is the table runner. Aha! Uh -huh. Yet a different arrangement. You see it, don't you? So now we've created sort of a diamond effect as four blocks come together. I like that one more. You're a table runner. Yeah. That's perfect. For a Thank very you. Small blanket. A very skinny person. <laughs> yeah. What, did you, I hear one more? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I will sh I'll show you more quilts, how about that, but nothing more for simplicity, too. That's not spot. What was that? Oh, it's funny. The question is, what is this fabric? And I'm really not supposed to show you yet. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding? I thought maybe I'd get away with it. <laughs> yeah, so maybe, maybe one day down the road this fabric line will come out. I don't know. Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. <laughs> All right. So that, yeah, but I need you still because I have more to show. Don't, don't go far. Don't go far, honey. Yeah, for you. Um, any questions on Simplicity 2? Are you excited? Do you, are you picking out the strips in your head that you're going to do with it? Yes. It, it's going to be spa day, right? We do have these strips available. But speaking of spa day, would you like to see some other quilts that use spa day? Yes. <laughs> Maureen's sitting on this in the, yeah, I would. I'd like to see other quilts. Okay. So this was from February, and this was um, I Heart You, and it was, um, it was the second colorway. The original colorway was reds and pinks on a white background. It was very hearty. It was very hearty. <laughs> it was uh, val very Valentine's Day, right? So this was our softer version of it. And actually, I painted the walls in my sewing room because now I have a sewing room. And that might actually go perfectly with it. So as soon as spa day is sold out, that might make it home. And then as a sneak peek on something we're working on, pattern's not written yet, but it will be. Would you like to see it? Yes. Boy, you're getting sneak peeks today, aren't you? I do too. I know. Only three people have seen this quilt. Yes. yes. Until now. Uh, oh. Oh. You got, got it. You got it. So this is the same fabric as Spa Day. Do you believe me? Yeah. Well, I hope so. You believe everything I say. Well, in that case. <laughs> Um, we've taken the very darkest fabric from the collection, made it the background, and then had all the light ones pop out. 
We had a ruler a while back called the Cutting Corner Ruler, Cutting Corners Ruler. Sharon Craig designed it. Um, and we, we didn't reprint it after uh, we'd sold out of it. Well, we're bringing it back. And this is going to be a new pattern that features that cutting corners technique. So stay tuned for that. I wish I could tell you what it's called, but I haven't named it yet. Any naming ideas? Yeah. Starbright. Starbright's good. Although um, Cozy Quilt Designs people, the staff that send out the um, patterns, have said, please don't name another pattern that starts with the word star. <laughs> There's like star, 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 star. We have a Milky Way. Night Sky might be. Twinkle, twinkle. Stars in the wind. Stars in the wind. Twirling stars. Midnight right, these midnight stars. Okay, these are all very good options. So look for that, whatever the name will be, at a future date. I'll show it to you again. So that's also spa day. And I played with some Lazy Girl stuff. Lazy Girl is a designer, Joan Hawley. And, you know, if you have an hour and you just want to sew, make these. They're button boats. It's a Lazy Girl uh, pattern. So easy to make and a great way to feature fabric. I supersized it. Is that part with fries? Yeah, with fries. I knew that was going to fall. <laughs> I supersized it, just made a bigger one. So it's just three panels, zigzag stitch edge with um, her stiff stuff in between. And then the buttons hold it together. So here, I'll undo it because doing it back up is really easy. You see the buttons? <laughs> wow. oh, that's awesome. So she has a pattern, it's called Button Boats. I just love them. I'm just so happy making them. I realize just making stuff is so much fun. I think you feel the same way. Otherwise you would not be up at 8.30 in the morning at a quilt shop <laughs> on a beautiful Saturday morning where you could sleep in, am I right? All right, so that's a lot of spa day stuff. Good times, huh? Good stuff? Yeah. Any questions? Did you make that little purse out of the same fabric? Oh, I did make this little purse out of the same fabric. Short, short people know how to do things. <laughs> this is a, a Kimberbell ex, uh, dealer exclusive design, so only um, a dealer that has this uh, exclusive program. This is all done in the hoop, an embroidery hoop. The zipper, everything, all done in the hoop. I love the inside fabric. Let's see if you can't see it in there. It looks like um, a cracker. A what? A what? It's like a cracker, isn't it? I just love it. Anyway, that's probably more information than you needed. Let's go back to the outside. That's pretty. Like a, like a biscuit. So all in the hoop, so much fun. So Kimberbell exclusive. All right, so that's all my spa day stuff. And that's the Simplicity Quilt and four samples to show you how Simplicity comes together. Thank you very much. Do we have any questions from the audience? No questions? Okay, my friends, then join me again next month and we'll have another pattern that uses two and a half inch strips.